This country is the birthplace of Luke Skywalker, serving as a filming location for iconic Star Wars scenes, particularly those depicting the planet Tatooine. Today we're exploring Tunisia, a vibrant country located in North Africa, known for its rich history, diverse culture, and stunning landscapes. Join us and stay to the end to learn more interesting facts about this country. Tunisia is located in North Africa, bordering the Mediterranean Sea. With a diverse landscape ranging from the Atlas Mountains to the Sahara Desert, Tunisia's geography has played an important role in its history and culture. The country can be divided into four main geographical regions. The northern fertile coast is characterized by farmland, forests, and sandy beaches along the Mediterranean. The Atlas Mountains stretch across northwestern Tunisia, with peaks over 1,500 meters or 4,921 feet high. The Mediterranean hinterland is a rolling hill country with olive groves and pastures between the mountains and coast. Lastly, the southern half of Tunisia consists of the Sahara Desert, sparsely populated with oases, sand dunes, and salt flats. While Tunisia has no major rivers, various coastal streams and wadis can create torrential flows during the rainy season. These temporary waterways fill reservoirs and inland lakes such as Lake Ichkul near the capital Tunis. Hot mineral springs also feed mountain lakes in the Atlas Range. Oasis lakes dot the harsh Sahara region. Tunisia has a Mediterranean climate in the north, with mild rainy winters and hot dry summers. The south has a true desert climate with extreme heat and little rainfall. The mountains act as a climate border, receiving more precipitation than other areas. Localized climates vary widely based on factors like altitude and land cover. Tunisia has been at the crossroads of ancient civilizations for centuries. Around 12 million people reside in the country according to World Bank data. Ethnically, most Tunisians are Arab Berber, stemming from the ancient intermixing of indigenous Berbers with Arab peoples. Other groups include Sub-Saharan Africans, Europeans, and Jews. Intermarriage over generations has created a distinctly Tunisian population. However, regional cultural differences persist between coastal, mountain, and desert areas. The vast majority of Tunisians speak Arabic, specifically Tunisian Derja Arabic, as their native language. France also retains an important place in education and business after Tunisia was ruled by France during the colonial era. However, Berber languages have seen a cultural resurgence, especially in the South. Today, over 1% speak Berber dialects as their mother tongue. The religion practiced by some 99% of Tunisians is Sunni Islam, which shapes cultural traditions. The Constitution declares the country to have a civil state with religious freedom for minority groups such as Christians, Jews, and those of no religion. More conservative Islamic observances are generally more common in rural areas than in Tunisia's modernizing cities. Tunisian food reflects historical influences from Africa, the Mediterranean, and the Arab world intermixing in this North African crossroads. Different regions have their own culinary traditions, characterized by intense spices, colorful vegetables, and abundance of olive oil. Makuya Salad. A fiery roasted pepper and tomato salad, Makuya cools the palate while igniting taste buds. Bell peppers, tomatoes, garlic, chili, and spices like cumin come together in a quick skillet before dressing leaves and tuna. Makuya is a zesty staple salad across Tunisia. Lablabai satisfies hunger with this hearty chickpea soup brimming with cumin, parsley, and harissa. 
Olive oil and stale trench bread provide texture and richness. Lablabai street stalls draw loyal local crowds in the mornings for their affordable portions of this Tunisian comfort food. Makuda fritters, daughter Tunisian cuisine from Italian influences. Rings of fried potato and ground meat seasoned in parsley, pepper, and egg come out crispy and tasty. Makuda makes for a popular snack, street food, or light entree, either alone or stuffed into a roll. Brik, the Tunisian brick, similar to a Moroccan Bastilla, delivers a crispy yet flaky pastry envelope filled with egg, tuna, spices, and parsley. This fried parcels pack delightful textures and medley of flavors in one handheld treat. Brick represents a culinary fusion that locals enjoy any time of day. Tunisia has a long and rich history going back over 3,000 years. Strategically located on ancient trade routes and invaded by different civilizations, Tunisia's culture today reflects this diverse past. The Phoenicians, an ancient seafaring civilization based in what is now Lebanon, established the city of Carthage near modern-day Tunis in 814 BC. Carthage grew into a major regional power until falling to the Romans after the Punic Wars in 146 BC. The Romans ruled Tunisia for 600 years, leaving important ruins and cities such as El Gem. The Arab conquest of Tunisia began in 647 CE, just a couple of decades after the death of the Prophet Muhammad. Arab Muslim armies overran the Byzantine rulers of Tunisia and spread Islam across the region over the next century. This brought religious, linguistic, and cultural transformations. In the following medieval period, the country was successively ruled by different Muslim dynasties, including the Aglabids, Fatimids, and Hafsids. These Islamic rulers built impressive mosques, fortresses, and universities, and invested in agriculture and trade. Tunisia flourished as a center of learning and commerce. However, growing Turkish and European interference weakened Hafsid rule starting in the 16th century. Pirates and privateers from Europe increasingly attacked and captured Tunisians into slavery. Despite a brief period of autonomy in the 18th century under the Hussein dynasty, Tunisia faced heavy French political and economic pressure. France escalated moves to take full control over Tunisia as the 19th century progressed. Using weaknesses in the ruling bureaucracy and exaggerated threats as pretexts, France invaded and captured Tunisia, making it a colonial protectorate in 1881 despite local opposition. This began decades of French colonization, with policies aiming to systematically replace Tunisian culture and institutions with French ones that lasted until independence in 1956. Tunisia's anti-colonial movement evolved into a one-party state after independence. President Habib Bourguiba led Tunisia for over 30 years and instituted secular reforms. However, corruption and unemployment stirred protests. President Zina al abidina Ben Ali took power in 1987, but his regime was also deemed corrupt and oppressive, leading to mass demonstrations in 2010. This Jasmine Revolution sparked the Arab Spring and ushered in a peaceful transition to democracy that continues today. Tunisia has an emerging mixed economy that continues to adapt to global trends and endure local growing pains after recent political upheaval. But the nation relies on key strengths rooted in history. Strategic Mediterranean trade routes that made ancient Carthage rich now connect modern Tunis to global markets. Cheap labor, savvy enterprises, and legal reforms power light manufacturing and exports. Agricultural heartlands feed growing urban centers and supply high-end olive oil and wine, with the country being one of the highest producers of olive oil in the world. 
and the sands still hide oil and gas reserves that provide state funds. Yet over a third of youth struggle to build careers despite university degrees. Disparities linger between prosperous coasts and marginalized interior regions. And while bureaucracies and regulations continue to transition after the Arab Spring, allegations of cronyism and corruption hamper development. Still, Tunisia has achieved economic growth rates of over 4% in the past half decade. So Tunisia's diverse landscapes nurture both traditional community farms and digital startups hungry for talent and investment. The national economy must meet the hopes of both local potato harvesters and Cisco certified programmers. With pragmatism prevailing since its 2011 revolution, Tunisia plods towards prosperity. Today, it sits on a $46 billion GDP. Tunisia's strategic location on Mediterranean trade routes has fostered a vibrant culture blending African, Arab, and European influences. This rich heritage lives on in Tunisia's diverse arts and cultural scenes today. Tunisian literature evolved from an oral storytelling tradition expressed over time through poetry, articles, and novels grappling with issues of identity, oppression, and justice. Influential 20th-century writers include poet Abul Kachem Echebi and novelist Albert Memmi, whose works confront colonial rule. Tunisian plastic arts reveal folk motifs and postmodern abstract images, while sculptors shape themes from Tunisia's Punic, Roman, Islamic, and modern histories into stone, bronze, and wood. Humpt Souk artist warehouses display these dynamic contemporary paintings and sculptures for visitors. Tunisia's desert landscapes have even hosted major films like Star Wars and The English Patient. But rather than just a set, Tunisia boasts its own film culture. Acclaimed works like Halfoween examine coming-of-age tensions between tradition and modernity across generations. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this next one.